Hello, Lego lovers. This is L, and this is a Lego Marvel parts review. Now, this is from the upcoming movie, hopefully I'm saying it right, Shang-Chi. And this set is called Battle at the Ancient Village. Now, I don't believe the movie's out yet. It might be soon. I'm not sure when it comes out. But the sets are kind of out, I think. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. This is set number 76177, and it has exactly 400 pier pieces, apparently. Um, but this is bag one, so let's get into checking this out. First of all, let's look at our stickers. Now, these are very repetitive, you could say. However, they do kind of have distinct details that you could use in other sets, etc., Kind of an interesting kind of uh, detailing. I don't know how to explain it. I believe all the parts of this go on this dragon creature. So texture-wise, you have a lot of stickers here. Other than that, not too much, much special. So first of all, you can see a variety of blue. Quite a bit. We have this really nice blue. I don't see as much as I wish I did. And we have four of these nice slopes, like the 2 by 4 kind of slope in that blue. Really like that. Just, just a nice kind of interesting blue. More plates there, nothing too special really, but just nice to see different colors. And again, we have some more plates in that color. And then in this color here, kind of the azure, we have some of the dots pieces and these curves. And I'm not sure if I've seen it in this color too much. So that's kind of nice to see. And we also have a lot of aqua here. I almost feel like when I was setting this out, it was like a dot set or something, a bracelet. Because there's so many of these small one by one type parts. And these aqua curves are kind of nice. Now in blue, we do have the nice hinge pieces. And then this was a surprise I didn't expect to see. I'm not sure if this is the first time to see it in this color. We have another color of the 1x2 rounded plate with holes in the studs. Just a nice versatile part. And I'm just, every time, you know, every wave of sets comes out, they're adding a new color. Love it. Really happy to see that. Not sure if there's any more in the set. We also have some other tiles and Technic, not too special there. Um, we also have kind of a standard kind of Technic mech type arm part not too special obviously it comes with the pen pins we have this interesting technic part which isn't too common and then we also have the other parts of the hinges and this is nice i don't see the one by two kind of variant of this kind of wedge plate and we have the opposites opposing there which is pretty cool and then in white we got a lot here we got a lot of this type of part usually kind of use it under of boats or dragons or just a nice under type curving part so really happy to see a lot of those in white here even got some bracket bricks right back there and again we have one of those mech pieces which is cool to see in white because it's not too common um a couple other parts but nothing too special we even have the white kind of rock detail or fur depending on if you have a porg or not um more kind of bracket type parts we even have an under tile a two by two under tile and then the white kind of one by two into kind of a notch or corner two sets of those which is pretty nice to see but i think in white and black those are the more common colors so we're seeing a lot of those in this dark red we have some interesting pieces, actually. First of all, we got some smaller tiles and some other kind of cheese wedge double tile there. Some plates, some 2x2 two two slopes. And we even have one of these parts in the dark red. So lots of dark red parts. I don't think any of these have been in dark red yet. I could be wrong, or at least they're not very common. Very happy to see this dark red color. We even have these 1x3 slopes and then a big surprise is this new part this one by three kind of more sloped type curve i don't know how to explain it but it's a really nice interesting detailing type part and i've seen it used a lot in different ways so far already and i'm really happy to see it and we got like eight of them 
in that dark, beautiful red. I'm um, really happy to see that. We also have the blue power burst set in this. I swear it looks a little different, but the like energy blast from the hands, I don't know. It just feels different. I, I don't know why. Maybe it's just been a while since I've had a blue one. The blue looks a little more blue. I don't know how to say it, but you get your tons of different parts in this. It's very nice. Kind of obviously a power blast. Lots of bar connections with these. And these can be used for weapon blasts, energy, you know, ships, rocket ships, all different kinds of stuff. Lots of different kind of cool textures in them. You know, an energy beam or something, you know, can be used in a lot of different mocks for a lot of different things. That's not it for big one, because we do have a figure and something else. So this is our figure, and I do not know the character names at this point. Maybe I will find out. But just looking at that torso print is just, that is insane to me. It's kind of hard to maybe pick up on camera here. But you can see, look at all the different kind of texture going on there. All the metallics going on there. Just the intricate detail. That is an insanely nice print front and back so much detail and texture going on it's just it's just crazy to be honest it's a really good print and then we have our face print there kind of a cute smile and the other one is definitely not a cute smile more like a angry smile um one thing i would point out is the hair piece which keeps dropping feels a little dated I mean, I feel like it needs an updated variant. Um, I don't know. It just feels so s flat and, like, classic. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments. But, I don't know. It just feels a little old or dated. And the other thing, which I don't know what it is, is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Maybe, well, okay, I can't say that. I've probably seen something weirder. So... This little creature thing sits on two studs. It has no face, and I guess that's how it's supposed to be. It has kind of two wings. No accessories holes, no tails, nothing. <laughs> A weird, cute little animal. So, I love it. <laughs> but, yeah. Yep, you get one of those in bag one. I'm sure it's a great character in the movie. It's just really weird looking. But let's go into the next bag already. All right, here we are with bag number two. Let's take a look at our figure that we get in this bag first. Again, I don't know the names, although this person looks like they're not on the good side. And as you can see, we actually have a fairly detailed print here. If I can uh, get the look to go there. Focus, maybe. Um, but yeah, just like that other print, look at the kind of texture. It's almost hard to see. Um, but you can see just lots of detail. And there's like a texture almost on it when the light kind of gets on it. It's crazy. It's just multi-layered like layered detail. I mean, that that's a really crazy print. Um, if you follow my channel, you know I'm a big mini doll fan. And I just wish they would put that on mini dolls, that kind of quality of printing. But yeah, so that's a really nice figure. I have no idea who they are, although they do not look very happy. Um, I don't really like how the head looks. Maybe that looks accurate to the movie. I'm just not sure on that. Character does get some weaponry. Those are fairly common, especially if you have Ninjago stuff. So, up here in white, there's a whole bunch of these little horn pieces. Um, yep, a whole bunch of those. Looks like over 10, maybe like 12. Small part. We also have more of these um, nice connections. More of these under type parts. Some more bracket type bricks. More of those pointed tiles. Um, this is a nice part that I think is fairly useful, the one by one rounded into bar. We got four of those. We have another kind of inverse tile. We got some of one by one stud with hole, although I think they're kind of common white, but still a nice useful part to get. 
more of the aqua, kind of some of the same that we've had, um, except I think we got more one by two tiles. Again, almost like a dots set here. We got some random red one ofs. Not exactly sure why. In the back in gray, you can see a plethora of these ball socket parts, just all the same one. Um, and those are going to connect to this Technic part down here that goes into the ball joint. Quite a few of those, too. And in black, we have some nice parts. Um, this, I think, is a really good part. We got kind of a technical pin into lots of clips, four clips on each kind of side of this. And there's four of those. Just a really nice, interesting part that can be used for a lot of um, different things to get different angles. Then we have one of this classic camera gun type thing. This newer part, which I think we first saw in the Minions, kind of the weird kind of angle. Um, but this in black, and we have four of those. So that's kind of nice to see that in more colors. And then again, in dark red, we have a lot more parts. We have more of those interesting one by three angles more of the texture type part two of those two by two even this which i didn't even know existed until now but dark red the uh angles i believe there's one pair there um where it kind of has that notch i want to see those in pink someday um another wedge in dark red again dark red isn't the most common color it is in some sets but it's not super common some of the kind of I don't know how to explain them, like boot pieces is what I kind of call them. Dark red clips, nice, those are kind of rare. Could use like 20 of those doing one of my mocks. Um, and then a whole bunch of these. It's kind of the bar where you can insert a bar. Um, just a nice small part, good for doing bars type stuff, obviously. And there's a lot here. Speaking of bar parts, this is the first time I think I've seen this part. So this is a bar connection, just right there. You can hold it or push it in something. And this is a very thin part. Um, one of the thinner parts that I've really felt. Um, and I suppose you could use it as a sword, a tentacle, a blade, um, just a detail. You know, even like, you know, something blowing on the wind behind someone. It's just, it's weird. <laughs> But it's a dark red kind of horn type of attachment, I guess. And there's six of them in here, right there. So, that's bag two here. Um, lots of small parts, but lots of interesting parts. So, let's get into the final bag and I'll say what my final decision on this set is. Alright, here we are with bag three and the final bag. So, let's get into the parts first. More of these white slopes, the underslopes, just kind of a crazy amount of those in here. We even have some under white brackets, which I personally haven't seen too often. Um, in white at least, usually dark gray or black, I think. We also have some white horns. Those are kind of common, the long and short ones. We have some white under parts. I don't know if I've seen those too often, the kind of curved bubble type parts for underneath more of these nice tiles of one by or yeah one by two with a little notch i guess and then we even have some of the white claw or teeth type plates um just the one by two with three spikes coming out there um that's kind of nice not too special more of the white detail parts we even got some white wedges the shorter ones are usually not too common so, pretty nice selection of different white parts that are not super small, but a little bit smaller. Um, but we even have some gray up here. More of these ball joints, um, the dark gray and the light gray. We also have one of these, which I don't see too often. The kind of like bottom Technic flap type hinge part. Um, you can see back there the actual other part to it. So just a nice little thing. We got over bracket. Like I said, those are kind of common. Now in red, we have this kind of one by one under bracket, which I don't think I've seen in red actually. So just really cool to start seeing more colors come out for that. We got two there. We even have red flippers. I don't know if I've seen those in red before. Maybe the recent city sets. I don't remember. 
but just the different color of those to get. Um, and then in the dark red, there's just so much here. <laughs> um, more of these weird blade type parts. We got one of these like two by four curved slopes. Really nice to see that. It's a nice smooth type piece. We even have this kind of um, four by four kind of ATV type part they usually use kind of have detail of lights there but they've been using it for dragon eyebrows lately which is kind of interesting and, and we even in dark red have one of these over type brackets the one by two just two of those but still that I haven't seen that before so that's a new part to me well not part but color at least more of these tons of those in this set we got some plate and tiles and they even did one of my favorite parts the one by two rounded um, plate with holes through the studs in dark red. And you get four of those in here. That is a wonderful part. Some more of those kind of uh, bars to a bar hole. And then in black we get mostly Technic pins, I guess. But these uh, really good parts to the one by one stud. But with kind of a bar attachment that you can put an accessory in. Three of those. A little more aqua, this under uh, slope. I haven't seen an aqua before. I could be wrong, but I haven't seen that. So that's a nice new part. Here we have some of those Lord of the Rings gold rings. Some, I mean, a lot. There's seven down here. And basically these can pop on a stud. And you can have them be held by minifigures, etc. And the build I've seen for this is pretty interesting, actually. It uses this good part the clear stud to clear bar angle um, came in the DC CMF series I think first and just a really great part I've seen them use for straws just to get different angles on parts lots of different types of use for it and I think there's like seven in here so that is wonderful this part I really really like this is what they use for the dragon eye now there's three of them in here and I believe this is a one by one Opal Essence Translate Blue Tile with a print of the kind of almond shaped type eye with pupil. And you can kind of see it has almost like eyelashes or just detail all around the eye in kind of like a metallic type blue color. Um, and you get three of those. I think that is a fantastic part that could be used for other dragons especially custom dragons or creatures or monsters or just I think it's great because to me this is basically a basic type I that is not inherently evil or really you know like the elves eyes even though I don't have a problem with those it just is a nice basic eye part on a one by one tile that really excited me when I saw that so I like that part really nice part another interesting part which is my first time seeing it, I think it's been in some superhero sets, is this other energy blast, or whatever you can imagine. So it looks like they basically have a one by 2 rounded plate inside there. You can see it kind of dips down quite a bit more, um, and you can stick bars all the way through. Otherwise, it is a two stud connection and two anti-type stud connection. And I will look at the minifigures, but just as an example, you can put it like that, and you can imagine them standing on water, or you could put this on like a double cannon blaster type thing, and a waterfall, or a water fountain, or whatever you can use it, and it's really interesting. And there's actually two of them in this set. I think that's really cool. Uh, another really interesting detailed part. Um, really nice, actually. Now let's get to the minifigures. And I have to say, these minifigures have insane printing. You can kind of see, when I move it, there's just different layers of printing almost. Um, this is our main character, I believe. I'm going to not say the name because I forgot it. Um, but just, uh, that torso detail is insane. Look at the back. It just is. It just feels like such a detailed print. 
just just crazy detailed now the only unfortunate part is there's no special pants so it's like you go from this in crazy good detailed print to nothing makes it kind of a little less exciting when you look at it on a figure but the other figure which i think is a bad guy i'm not sure does have leg printing you can't even tell almost that that is a different part it is lined up really good not perfect fantastic printing torso all the way down the legs just amazing printing i mean look look at the look at that i mean yeah that that you got boots yep everything and the torso just has so many different detail type layers you can see some metallic etc and the back is just really really detailed um wow just when I when I opened these up and looked at them, that is that was my literal response. Just wow, I kind of looked at it. I'd love to see prints like that on mini dolls, of course, if you know me. But what do I think about this sets parts wise? A little mixed. It's a forty dollar set, four hundred pieces, so the price per piece is good, I guess. But there are a lot of small pieces. However. I would point out there's a lot of interesting pieces. You do have a ton of these, which is kind of a nice piece. You got the ball joints, which are great for making mechs, robots, all those kinds of things. There's lots of brackets, tons of dark red, lots of newer type dark red parts, new kind of parts I have not seen before. Interesting parts. There are a lot of small parts, but there's a lot of awesome parts and useful parts. I think this is good. It might look like a not a lot of parts, but I think it's good. All the prints on the minifigures, even though I'm more of a mini doll fan, I can be honest, they're incredible. Just incredible prints. Um, so what I have to say parts-wise is this set is it's it seems like it might not be good, but I think it's really good. Um, if you're looking for size bulk type parts, it might not be the best. Um, but if you're looking for lots of interesting parts that are smaller and just different kind of colors and parts, this set is great. Fantastic minifigure prints. Um, just incredible. Interesting. I, I think this is a good part set. Um, I'm definitely going to build it up and try to do a review of that. Um, but yeah, I have to say this is a this is a really good part set. Might not be my favorite as colors. But I think there's a lot of interesting and cool stuff in here. But I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you for watching. If you got this far, you are incredible. And I appreciate you watching any and all of my videos. And I hope you'll watch more. Thanks for watching.